welcome to my first video. So this will be the first time I am recording my watercolor process. So I hope you can enjoy and here are some close-up shots of some dyes for you anime dye lovers. I know you're out there. So this is my setup. Here you can see my drawing just waiting there. And over there you can see my painting equipment. And oh, that tissue will just get rid of it real quick and throw it in the trash where it belongs. And we're just good to go. Here's my setup for recording. I know it's not much, but we have to make do since we don't have proper recording equipment yet. But hopefully as this channel grows and if there are people more interested in this type of content then perhaps I could invest in more proper recording equipment, hopefully in the future. So this is my secret treasure trove of paints, watercolour paints that I've collected over the years. And as of now I'm just selecting a few watercolour palettes, um, some colours that I think would look nice with the painting. I dug out primarily blue hues as well as red hues since I had this underwater theme color scheme going on in my head and also because I know that red contrasts blue very well and I wanted to hit the hair to pop so I decided to go with blue and red. As with the gold outlining that you see later on with the kimono, that wasn't intentional, that was something that I was like, oh, this would actually look nicer. Originally, I was going to go with a red outline, but figured that the gold would look even better on her, and I'm glad I went with that choice. I'm also looking for a yellow hue that will serve as highlights for the red and the blue, so that it could add more interest to the painting and make it more alive and more dynamic. So at the moment, I'm just looking for that yellow hue by experimenting with the other colors, seeing what fits the best. And I stumbled across this one color, but I didn't remember which color it was called. Well, as you can see, for this color, it blended very well with the other color. I am running low on the color palette, but um... Well, this one. I'm gonna need to find out. Except I don't remember which one, which color it is. So I'm gonna have a uh, fun trying to look for it. <laughs> so, Quinacadrone, this color, Quinacadrone Magenta. This one, along with Indigo. So I think. This one, alongside me. Are you recording? Hello. Yes, I am. Mm. This one, which I forgot what it was, but yes, we'll find it. Thus, I emptied out my whole tin can of watercolor paints just to find that one yellow hue and it turned out just to be burnt sienna and what I found out during this process is that burnt sienna if you add enough water to it if you dilute it enough and add it to the paper it can actually serve as a skin color tone along with alizarin like hints of alizarin crimson which could make that nice reddish blush hue on the skin oh yes and before i forget to mention if you add enough of the alizarin crimson into the burnt sienna it can also serve as a shadowy hue for the skin tone Without further ado, let's get started! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Propolis. Yeah. 
free Manuka honey drops. Oh, they just gave it because it's almost expired. Mm. Lol. It's okay, just give it. April, expired. What day on April? The fifth. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I looked at the mark watch and I was like, Hold on. <laughs> uh, Do I have the time on it? This is Best Buy, not Best Buy.
Congratulations, you have now reached the end of this video, and now I shall spoil you with the aftermath of this painting. Yes, a bunch of leftover corpses of tissues. <laughs>